Royal Woods, Michigan has many characters that we love and relate to. Wanna be rock stars, all around athletes, and even the man with the plan, Lincoln. There is no doubt that this world is full of amazing characters everyone loves, but we're not talking about them today. Today, we're looking at the not so good residents of Royal Woods who are hated among fans. Hey guys, I'm Brad with Wicked Bench, and these are the worst Loud House characters and why they suck. All right, before we start, some disclaimers. We're only gonna be looking at the worst characters from the Loud House, so anyone that's in the spinoff, the Casa Grandes, will not be included. If you guys want us to look at the worst Casa Grandes characters in a separate video, let us know in the comments. We should also mention that while we incorporated some fan opinions, this is all subjective, so if you like any of these characters, of course, continue being a fan. And let us know if we missed any terrible characters that should be on the list. All right, guys, let's get started. As usual, we'll be starting with the least least hated, hated character, and working our way down to the number one most hated. We're gonna start with the Loud Brothers. The Loud Brothers are exactly what they sound like. They are the boy counterparts of the Loud Sisters that we know and love. Their names in order of birth are Loki, Lonnie, Luke, Lane, Lynn, Lars, Leif, Lex, Levi, and Leon. Their only appearance is in the episode One of the Boys. If you were lucky to miss this episode, here's a quick synopsis. Tired of his sisters always berating him, Lincoln wishes he had 10 brothers instead of 10 sisters. Later, Lisa shows Lincoln with a portal watch, a universe where he has 10 brothers. My wish? Yes, I think I can help you out. Lincoln is happy to have 10 brothers at first, but it soon turns into a nightmare. All the brothers treat Lincoln horribly by giving him swirlies, pulling his pants up and down, dog piling on him, and Dutch ovening him. Pretty brutal stuff. The Loud Brothers were hated among fans for treating Lincoln horribly. So, why are they at the bottom? We have two reasons. First, it turned out that the Loud Brothers were a nightmare made by Lincoln, so they weren't even real. Second, after that episode, the Loud Brothers were never seen again up to this point in the series. We're putting them at the bottom of the list for those reasons, and we highly doubt we'll see them again. Though we will say, this little story arc was somewhat entertaining. Next is Lola. Lola is essentially the brat of the family that will do anything to get what she wants. She has a temper and is not afraid to get back at anyone who crosses her. There have been many instances where Lola lashed out at her sisters for small things, such as Lynn eating the last pudding, Lenny breaking her tiara, Lori not saying bless you to her, and Lana's frog distracting her while putting on her makeup. She might be the only person in the series that has a death count. While Lola can be a brat, there have been instances where she has behaved well. She created Lana's version of her party after she sabotaged it for her own version of their 17th birthday. In the episode, a kid is scorned, she let Lily win the cutest kid competition when she realized that Lily was doing Lola's commercials for fun and not to upstage her. For these reasons, we can't call her the worst character in the series, and she does have her occasional redeeming moments. Now we have Lisa. While Lisa is the family genius, more mature than everyone else and always helps her siblings, she's hated among fans and we understand. She always uses her siblings and parents as her test subjects without permission and can be arrogant. In the episode, House of Lies, Lisa tried to stomp out lies with the device, whether the family wanted her to or not, which caused a lot of arguments and distrust. That was supposed to be a metaphor, but fine. In the episode Blinded by Science, she treated Flip like a lab rat, disregarding what could happen to him. And we can't forget that she takes DNA samples from her family without their permission. Her most unpleasant episode, however, is Making the Grade, where Lisa temporarily moved to Lincoln's fifth grade class and ended up causing a lot of problems, not only with Lincoln, but with the the entire class. We're gonna cut her some slack and put her lower on the list, because she does have her moments. For instance, she learned her lesson after an experiment went wrong and promised not to do it again. Next is Luan. While Luan is a good person and always makes people laugh, all that changes with her April Fool's Day pranks. The April Fool's Day specials are where Luan is at her worst, and each one of them is the most hated of the series. In each of the April Fool's Day pranks, Luan humiliates each loud family member. This is a kitty. He says meow. We won't name all the pranks, but we'll tell you that none of them end very well, with each member of the family ridiculed and traumatized. She doesn't rank higher because it's only once a year that she pulls these pranks, and our top four do things that are far worse. In fourth place, we have the Mr. Krabs version of the Loud House, Flip. Flip is a greedy businessman that runs Flip's food and fuel in Royal Woods. He will attempt to swindle anybody for a quick buck and doesn't give refunds either. He's hated for swindling, selling expired milk and eggs that can make someone sick, and 
and he is repulsive. He's shown before that he doesn't care much for safety. He leaves his socks in the nacho cheese and wrings it out in the cheese. Gross. He doesn't rank higher because Flip is meant to be hated and it's part of his character. Also, we've seen some good in him in the past. The best example is in the Christmas special of Flip Miss Carol, where Flip made up for all of his actions on Christmas after he swindled everyone on Christmas Eve. While he does go back to his old ways afterwards, we can't blame him for trying. Our bronze medal for the worst character in the Loud House goes to Lin Jr. While Luan's worst moments only happen once a year, Lin's worst moments happen with sports all year. She can be rough, mean, a sore loser, and a bad winner. But what people really hate about her is her superstitions. She takes luck and her superstitions way too seriously. In the episode No Such Luck, she believed Lincoln was bad luck after going to one game and essentially kicking him out of the house. Honey, no! He'll ruin your fashion show just like he ruined my winning streak! And in On Thin Ice, where she takes her superstitions to the extreme and causes chaos in a hockey game. After she got advice from her hockey idol, she didn't learn anything, continuing to indulge her superstitions for good luck. She gets the bronze medal because underneath her tough exterior, she still cares about Lincoln and her friends and family, such as the episode Middlemen, where she tries to give advice to Lincoln and Clyde about transitioning to middle school to prevent them from going through the same suffering she did in sixth grade. She got a lot of hate from fans, but she cares about the people she loves, unlike our top two. The silver medal goes to Chandler. When Chandler was introduced in season one, he seemed like a typical bully that became Lincoln's rival. In later seasons, he seemed to get worse and more hated by the fans. Chandler doesn't care about Lincoln or his friends, calling Lincoln names like Lincoln Lame, mocking Zack about his beliefs in aliens, and spying and getting Lincoln and his friends in trouble. He even went as far as trying to sabotage Lincoln and his friends' action news team with mean-spirited jokes and pranks. It was revealed in that episode that he's been selling items from his father's sewage plant to buy the new equipment Lincoln and his friends wanted. Though he's a jerk and hated, he only gets the silver medal because the person who got the gold medal doesn't have any good traits at all. But real quick, before we get to our last entry, if you're enjoying this video, do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We ask because we'd really appreciate the help getting to our next milestone. We have lots more videos we'd love to share with you. Thanks a lot, guys. The gold medal goes to Aunt Ruth. Aunt Ruth is Rita's aunt, Albert's sister, and great aunt to the Loud Kids. From what we've seen, she's a lazy slob and a big eater. She loves all of her cats and enjoys all the pictures of her and her cats. What makes her really hated is that she just seems like an unnecessary character. She makes her grandnieces and nephews watch all of her slideshow pictures of her and her cats, whether they want to or not, makes them massage her feet with her extra toe, and even makes them eat her moldy expired pudding. Here's mittens in Egypt. While she is a major slob, she has shown that she still cares for her family, such as giving Lana and Lola a twin bike for their seventh birthday, and showing concern for Rita when the loud kids travel back in time and ruin their parents' wedding in the episode Time Trap. But she's a slob that doesn't care about her nieces and nephews' health and makes them watch thousands of pictures. No wonder Lynn Sr. and the kids don't like going to Aunt Ruth's. We really don't see what Rita sees in her. Perhaps in the future, we can see more character development for Aunt Ruth to see more into what she is as a person. Person. But as of now, we consider her to be the worst Loud House character in the entire series. All right, guys, that's the list. Let us know in the comment section which Loud House character you think is the worst in the series. Make sure to hit that notification bell and binge our other videos. But most importantly, stay wicked.